Hi folks, my name is Srinivas Angara. And today I want to show you a demo on Azure Digital Twins, uh, sending a, uh, a device simulator sending a message to IoT Hub. The, there's an Azure function that grabs a message, that subscribes to the message, grabs a message, uh, converts it into um, a JSON patch document, and sends it out to um, Azure Digital Twins. And we'll see in Azure Digital Twins, there's a 3D viewer. We can see uh, that information, uh, and that information is rendered in a 3D viewer on Azure Digital Twins. Uh, I'm going to break up this presentation into three parts. First, I'll show you an uh, end-to-end -end demo. Then I will switch over to an architecture diagram that shows all the different plumbing. And finally, uh, I'll come back and show you how I set it up. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to share my screen. And, um, and And share. Here we go. And I'm going to minimize everything. So here we are. Uh, we're looking at um, the 3D viewer within Azure Digital Twin. So uh, in the Azure Digital Twin, we can upload this model. The model uh, the model is defined as um, is uh, in a format called GLTF, which really stands for GPLF, which really stands for Graphic Language uh, tran uh, Transmission Format, Graphic Language Transmission Format. So that's a format um, uh, that we create the 3D models. We can use any of the, we can use tools like Blender, Maya, and plenty of uh, tools out there um, where we can cr uh, create these uh, 3D models and uh, export them as in a GPLF format and import them into uh, into the three into Azure Digital Twins. It's pretty cool. Uh, here I am. So what I'm going to do is using my mouse, I can actually uh, pan the image. I can zoom in, and I can zoom out, and also I can view the image from different angles. So I can go uh, from bottom up and then, uh, so I'll rotate it back again. So we can, it's pretty cool the way it's, uh, it really, it's uh, the way it works. So here we are, I uh, have a robotic arm. I only program for one piece that actually this one has, uh, this model has six other robotic arms, but I just program for one piece. So we can, I can click here and take a look. So here we are, we're looking at the values. I'm actually going to bring up my device simulator and uh, and uh, send, start sending temperature information. So this uh, simulator sends uh, uh, temperature every 10 seconds. And the uh, 3D viewer is basically configured to refresh every 10 seconds. So they're close to each other. Uh, if the temperature is between 70 and 80, it'll show up as blue. So that's what we're seeing now, it's in blue. If it is between 80 and 90, it's yellow. And if it's above 90, it's red. So we're seeing red because the temperature is 98. So if it did, so again, it's 96. So it'll be red again. And uh, let's see if it goes below below 90, let's see if, it, if the next one is between, there we go, we got 82.8, .8, so it should show up as yellow and it shows up as yellow. So that's nice. So depending upon uh, the data that is, the device is sending, the temperature information that the device is sending, we can see in real time of, uh, we can see in real time the changes in this digital time. So in this case, what I have is very simple. It's a single device uh, with all the plumbing going into Azure Digital Twin where I actually you know, configure for a single model. I mean, you can imagine in the field, you're gonna have thousands of devices and you can have many of these models and you, 
um, and uh, you can build these models out. So next, I'm going to switch over uh, to the uh, to the architecture and how I built this. So this is um, uh, this is the high level uh, plumbing that's plumbing I've done. And so I have a device simulator. It runs um, it runs on my laptop in VS Code. It basically sends um, a message uh, to IoT Hub. The IoT Hub publishes that message on an event topic. And from there, uh, there are subscriptions. You can have multiple subscriptions on that event topic. As your function subscribes, is uh, has a subscription and subscribes to this event. And uh, so the function is triggered whenever uh, the event comes through. And uh, so you have a triggering mechanism there. The function is triggered when an event arrives. And after that, uh, it, it, uh, it breaks the event down to individual components and it builds another uh, a JSON patch document. A JSON patch is very interesting. I would suggest reading up on it. And it creates a JSON patch document and sends that message to Azure Digital Twin. The first place in Azure Digital Twin is it gets the, the graph has um, the, the digital twins are configured in the Azure in the graph. So that's where the update goes. And from there, because there's a linkage between um, there's a linkage between the graph and the 3D viewer, the that information is rendered on the 3D viewer. So this is really the end-to-end -end plumbing that that I've configured. So uh, this is it. I mean, so this is the end-to-end -end plumbing. Now, if, uh, what I'll do is I'll go back. Uh, to that and show you the configuration. So we are back at uh, we are back at our digital twins. Right now, um, I'm actually in the build in the in the view. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go into the build all part. So here, like you know. Uh, what I have is I've configured the behaviors. You can go into behavior and um, edit behavior. And I can build uh, uh, how the information uh, should be rendered. So I have visual rules. There's an alert on this. So if it is 0 to 80, temperature is 0 to 80, it shows up as blue. And also, I have a widget that I can define. I'm gonna click on edit widget. So this is where I'm defining the widget. So it has a single property and uh, I haven't uh, done a deep dive into the advanced stuff, but that's something we can look at later. So I'm gonna cancel out of here. And uh, all right. So the next one, what I want to show you is how do I upload the models? How do you upload the models? So you, it's easy to click click new, uh, give a name, a scene description, and uh, upload a file. It's already here. It shows up. I try to do something. So I do see uh, <laughs> another ones, but you can uh, click on upload and upload a file. So this is a 3D viewer in Azure Digital Twins. Uh, next, I'll just show you the graph in the Azure Digital Twins. This is where we create all the digital twins. So uh, first is first up is the uh, it's it's quite easy. So you can actually upload the files, upload the models. And uh, so you can see I have different models. And also from, from the relationships, uh, there's a way you can actually click here uh, and upload the relationships between, uh, you can upload, uh, push this here, you can upload all the uh, 
the digital twins using uh, upload a model to upload the digital twins. And using this icon over here, you can import the relationship between all the digital twins. So I do have some, so I'm just gonna run a query. The first one is to select everything. So this is one of the samples that I found on YouTube. And the way it has is uh, I can we can actually expand. So the way it is, is like you have a trip. Every trip uh, is, this is a transportation company. So they have trips, trailers, and sensors on the trailers. And also every truck has a driver. So that's what this is showing. This is the relationship between them. So you can uh, you can actually build multiple relationships. So these are different instances. So there are like you know three instances between uh, there are two instances between uh, two instances of trips, and you can capture the metrics on them. Also I have some say save queries to look at uh, different models. So. So you can look at all the drivers and currently um, where they are, I mean, what is their current status? So let's take a look at uh, another one. So there's a temperature alert and run the query on the trailer device. So if there's a temperature alert, so uh, we can also take a look at. So this is the digital twin where relationships uh, can be viewed. And uh, so that's that's what you that's really it folks. So uh, I'll just come back to the architecture document. So I was pleasantly surprised on how easy it was. It, <laughs> it did take me about a week to do it, but uh, I couldn't imagine doing something like this uh, a couple of years. I mean, uh, a while ago, but anyway, uh, I was pleasantly surprised how easy all this can fit together and to do. So that's all. That's really what I wanted to show you. All right, with that, uh, I will end this. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.